welcome welcome everyone thank you very much for joining me on my channel if you are new around here my name's holly i do diamond painting and cross stitch um i probably have more now i'm probably concentrating more on cross stitch than i am diamond painting because i have a lot more projects in cross stitch and i think i've just got to the point where i enjoy doing cross stitch more than i do enjoy doing diamond painting but a warm welcome to all of my lovely new subscribers. I have loads of new subscribers this month and I'm just thrilled. I can't believe it. It's amazing. I'm almost near that that thousand subscriber mark, which is fab. Um, but welcome, welcome. We are in March. It is the 2nd of March. I decided to do this on my day off at the beginning of the day. Um, as you can see, it's not amazing out there, but it's you know sunny ish so i've still i still have to have like a light in front of me so that you can see what i'm doing but yeah so march the beginning of spring my favorite time of the year so i've got quite a lot to show you i probably don't have as much as last month in respect to the physical amount of stitches i think of maybe about a thousand less but i have i feel like i've got more progress on the projects that i've started doing so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the haul first and then the cross stitching after. I haven't really got a hell of a lot of haul, but I have got um, some haul, which is really exciting. Um, so as you know, I have been working on winter from the Cricut collection. Well, I bought spring and I think actually because I haven't even ordered... I haven't even ordered my fabric yet, so I think I'm going to be like way late for doing this. But you know, we're still in we're in spring now, and I'm still doing winter. So hey, I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? As long as you get them sorted at some point. Um, but I bought this one here. This is spring from Cricut Collection, and this is actually a lot smaller than the the winter one that I bought. Um, I can't remember where I got this from. But the one that I bought that was winter was like an A4 one. Um, and then you've got, obviously got, you can open up your pattern, which is inside. So, open that. so like your pattern's just all in there. Um, and I think I'll probably do what I did last time on my winter one, which is photocopy it and work off the photocopy. But I haven't actually ordered my fabric. Um, for spring, I'm thinking about like a really nice mottled kind of green colour, like a spring green colour, quite light, um, not too in your face fabric wise, because I think sometimes the fabric can overtake the actual design of the um, <clears throat> of the project. But I was trying to figure out what happened to my winter one, because last month and the month before, I don't seem to have like this, you know, um, winter, like the actual... Um, the actual project itself I don't seem to have like the pattern so I was kind of rattling my head and I know I bought my mum one so I bought my mum one for Christmas because I was doing it and she did say to me that um, she really liked it and she hasn't done cross stitch in a long time so she'd like to get back into it and I thought you know what it's a nice project it's quite small it's not daunting you haven't got crazy specialized stitches in there and it's just something that she can do in her own time I did order her some light uh, light blue fabric as well it wasn't mottled but I think it was I think it was 32 count I think I might have been a little bit ambitious when I think about my mum doing cross stitch projects on 32 count I think when she was doing cross stitch she was doing you know the counted cross stitch and it generally came up on 14 or 16 Ada I do remember however her sitting in the living room at home and she was stitching all of our zodiac signs so there's five of us in our family and um, I just remember her sitting on the sofa and just doing all these zodiac signs and they were beautiful. I, I can't even remember. They were on like a dark blue fabric as far as I can remember. Um, I can't remember what the actual the actual zodiacs, the colour of the floss that she used. But then there was like this small sort of thin wall that we had that had the clock on. And I think I remember her taking the clock off, putting that somewhere else. And then she had like all of our zodiac signs just, you know five of them and I think I thought that looked really nice so she was into cross stitch years and years ago but I thought that might be a way that she can get back into it I digress however 
I spoke to her about not being able to find my one and I don't know why because I photocopied the pattern and took it down with me but somehow the actual pattern itself ended up in my bag and obviously I bought her one as well and I asked her to like check her stuff you know of um you know the pile of Christmas presents she had and somehow she's picked up mine as well so she's got hers and she's got mine which makes sense as to why I can't find my one but you know what it's fine she can keep it it doesn't really matter I photocopied their pattern anyway I did buy her one for Christmas so you know I just I can't really see her to pick it up at the moment anyway there's no point in her you know sending it in post because I don't really need it right now and I'll just if we go to see my niece or if I go and see her anytime after lockdown is lifted I'll just pick it up at the time it's no biggie but yeah so that's what happened to that one um but yeah so I'm really I'm really looking forward to starting this one but I I'm just not sure on on the fabric I think I have got a couple of fabrics that I'm interested in but you know the turnaround for fabric that is dyed hand dyed is like five six weeks so we'll be in the middle of spring then pretty much and hopefully we'll be in the middle of some nice weather as well but I got that um I also for my twisted band sampler and not that this is really important I ran out of thread so I ran out of on one of mine um you're supposed to do I think I'm doing mine on 28 count and you're supposed to do one thread so one over two but I decided to do two over two because I want it to be more depth in colour and the colour that I ran out of was this one which is 2623 you can't, that's not even a very good representation of the colour it looks really kind of a weird orange there oh that's probably more of a representation um, and then because the next um, band that I've got is probably as big because these are the longest bands and then they start getting shorter I just thought you know what I'm gonna have to pay postage anyway so just to be on the safe side I bought the gold which is the um, two two three four which is that one so I've got both of them now I've got two two golds now and then obviously the extra orange which I should be able to finish but I will show you what I, I've done up to she didn't have I got them from um, London beads company and she didn't have the, any of those in stock and they actually went on the website so I phoned her up and said look you know have you got them and she said no I haven't got them in stock but I can order them in I'm doing a I'm doing an order I'm putting an order in so it'll be about a week before I receive them and then a couple of days after that so that then took me into like the end of the month and I was working on other projects by then so I didn't go back and complete the band but I'll show you more when I show you the actual project um the other thing I bought is <coughs> I don't know how to show you do you know what i'm going to show you when i show you the projects but a couple of weeks ago i bought some cable they're like these like cable ties so they're not cable ties as you think of cable ties they're you tie up a cable and then you you wrap these around it and they're supposed to kind of they're magnetic so they're supposed to like hold everything together and these were like six quid okay um and i got them from amazon and look they are like you know, there is just nothing there at all. I mean, I'm not really pulling on that at all. You know, it's it's very, very... The magnetic um, strength in them is just absolutely rubbish. So I was trying to keep my work taut. The one thing I find is on the... I don't know if you found that on the frames, the L L Elsbazee frames, I can never say that word. Um, once the little bolt things start wearing it's for me the tension just disappears so what I've been doing is doing tying them as tight as I can and then I find that the edges I've got like flappy material so I just don't get much tension and I have to have a lot of tension I'm one of those people that really needs like drum tight tension otherwise it, it just irritates me so I got these I wasn't overly impressed with them I phoned up Amazon and said that, you know, I want to send them back. Can I have a refund? And they were like, yeah, that's fine. And then they were like, well, don't bother sending them back. It's fine. They just gave me a refund anyway. But they were like five pounds. So I then reordered. I have got actually some of these on my work. I reordered these. Now, these are probably another six quid more expensive than them. They're, these are about 11 99 
but the magnetic I mean these are incredibly strong in fact when you take um when I take two off hang on one sec let me see if I can and this is the thing as well this they're, they're so fiddly because the magnets in them are so strong okay let's get that they ju they're just absolutely brilliant I see what I mean they're like they're so strong that you can't even in fact I have got a knife up here that I've been um using to try and undo them because you don't want to really damage them by undoing them you don't want to pull really on the other bits but anyway so that's kind of that's kind of these um they're exactly the same as them but the magnetic strength is is just much 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 stronger and um I think I don't know why but one side is a lot more strength than the other and if you get one that is okay there we go so that's that one oh my days see like the magnetic energy is so strong that it's so difficult to even untie them but you know what when you get them on your work and you you put one side on and then you wrap it round the frame and then you put the other side on and then you can you can pull them in towards the work so that they then pull outwards and give you that tension the tension is amazing it is absolutely incredible i mean these are just fantastic these are the best buy that i've ever ever bought i mean i love them um i wasn't sure on the other ones i did see you know reviews and people were saying you know they work really well they're this or that and um there wasn't really much on, in the way of how strong the magnets were but people were saying you know the magnets weren't amazing um but then when i when i saw these you had the other issue where people were saying the magnets were too strong so i thought well, you know what it's better to be too strong that will give you really really good tension in your fabric than like something that is just not strong at all right um okay so what else have i bought i think that's it oh no so i did buy a few more of these i felt like i was running out and the extra project oh no no there was something else i bought as well the extra projects that i bought needed more bags so these were amazon on my video last month i did put a, uh, a link to where these were it smells so amazing they smell of like that really nice plastic smell i'm not weird promise they smell really good right so um they are my spares so that's where they are so these are my projects so and let me just find out that new one that i bought okay this is really exciting i was looking i wasn't even looking online because i don't really need any more projects let's be honest um but i was looking online and I I ended up on a a cross stitch website and I, again I can't remember I wish I just oh maybe it was Artisy maybe that was the company that I was on but I don't know how I ended up there uh, but I ended up there and I fell down a massive rabbit hole because I saw this beautiful piece of work uh, by Leon is it Le Leonard Afrimov or Le Leonid I think it's Leonard Afrimov. I think that's how you say it. I'm hoping I'm not butchering that name too much. But um, I know a lot of the works that are on Heaven and Earth Designs, you know, they're, there's a lot of them, but there wasn't this design. And I just fell across it and I just absolutely love colour. And I love old, old school waltz dancing and things like that, ballroom dancing, um, you know, old style. But I saw this and had to have it look how beautiful that is that is just absolutely gorgeous so i think it's from art to see um and it's called delightful waltz and i could not wait to start this so i think what i might do is i might start this cross stitch video with that um yeah it was gorgeous so 
I did um, delightful watch. I did 427 stitches on that one. Um, I'm gonna have to find it now. What have I done with it? Because it's not in there. So what have you done with it, Holes? Oh, there it is. Okay. Right. Let's go. Right. Okay. So I was still working on it, and you know what? I think I might work on this today. You know, when a project just gives you goosebumps, it just excites you like there is no tomorrow. This is one of those projects. So um, the colours are stunning. I am doing this in CXC thread, CXC thread, because I always work my projects in CXC thread. Um, it cost me two. I actually got um, the lady I bought them off, um, Cross and Crafts. I just got her to send me all of the threads um, for the whole entire project. And I can't even remember how many colours there were now. Nine, there's 89, 89 colours I think it cost me six quid seven pounds for every single one um and for you know you, you might need two um two skeins of one and one skein of another and three of another depending on the colours but yeah I think it cost me like seven quid and that was including delivery and I'm doing this on 18 counts this is 18 count um easy guide is it Easy Guide or Magic Guide? This is a Zwei Guide, and I can't remember if it's Easy Guide or Magic Guide. Anyway, so this is where I'm at. Um, I'm just trying to move it over a bit. So what I... It's really bizarre. I don't know... It, I don't feel like I've got an actual game plan for this. So what I've been doing is I've just been doing all the different colours along here. I just wanted to work loads and loads of different colors um on this project rather than do you know like the normally what i would do is like i would do a four and then a four and then a four and then a four so that i'm kind of like doing it diagonally but in in four in like these four squares um but i'm kind of just i'm just freewheeling this one i guess i'm just doing what i fancy doing and i loved that i was doing lots and lots of different colors because for me, that's what I wanted to do. And I think this ends up finishing somewhere like here. So I think for this one, what, oh, sorry. For this one, what I'm gonna end up doing, I think getting my cameras over here and over here. Um, I am just going to like fill in all the blanks and then I'm just gonna work down. So I'm just gonna work everything downwards. And uh, I think that's how I'm gonna do that one. I haven't really got a plan to be honest. Um, I don't know if I can show you a little bit closer. See, I can't see what you can see. There we are. I think that's all right. But yeah, I just, I'm just loving doing that one. The colours are so vibrant and beautiful. And I think that's going to be the one that I'm going to work on today. I love doing 18 count. I just, oh, I don't know what it is. It's, for me, the squares are perfect. Um, I love using two strands. I'm not a fan of using one strand. I think I definitely, definitely have got that. Like, I definitely don't use like using one strand. Um, and I just think, you know, the, the squares, the squares, the X's aren't too big. They're not too small. Um, your project is a little bit bigger because it is on a, a lower count, um, you know, fabric. And I just, yeah, I'm just loving it. I love working on it. I love it. Right, so, um, what should I sell? Uh, do you know what? I might just work down my diary. So, the next one I will show you is winter. Now, I did actually, so I didn't have to go through the whole issue of going... Oops, hang on. Sorry, I've just put something on my laptop. Um, cause I, so I didn't have to go through the whole issue of, um, finding what project, like finding out, um, the project, you know, cause last month I was looking at my, um, tablet and it took me forever. So I printed it out instead because obviously I haven't got the original cause my mum's got it cause I left it at her house. So right, this is winter. Um, obviously I was doing this last month as well. So this is what it looks like last month and this is what it looks like 
this month. So I'm kind of getting there. I mean, it's not it's not a huge amount of progress. Um, I've got some of the tea left, and then I I'm not really too sure what this thing is, but I've got I think it's a present actually, and then ER, and then I just need to finish this bit down here. Um, in in these bits here, um, I've got I think I've got a snowflake to do. Um, I don't even know if that's straight. Sorry guys, I can't even lift this straight. So yeah, so I, you know, that's that's kind of pretty much all I've got left. Um, and then I've got another snowflake down here, I believe. I'm not really too sure. But the snowflakes are a bit of a ball ache to do. Um, but you know what, they are what they are. So that's kind of where I am this month with that one. Um, I'm doing that one on, I believe that's 28 counts. Two over two, yeah. And... I'm doing that on a fabric by Chromatic Alchemy, and it was it was called Cumulitis, something like that. The blue one, really beautiful, like mottled, lovely. Um, I thought that was quite a wintry one, and it's opalescence as well, so it's got sparkly bits. So yeah, I just need to carry on, and and I think I need to start kind of like from the beginning because there's quite a, there's on the eye especially there's some bits that I'm that I'm missing. And I just need to make sure that, you know, I'm kind of carrying on and, and filling in. What I tend to find is that I get really excited and I want to do the next letter and the next letter and the next letter. And then I leave bits off of what should have been on the letter before. And then things are just semi half finished. But that's just me. I'm just overly um, zealous and uh, I haven't got a lot of patience. And I am just, I don't know, kind of all over the place, really. So I did... Um, Oh, I didn't show. I didn't tell you what I did on the other one. Okay, so for winter, I don't know how many stitches I did because that's not on Pattern Keeper. But I reckon I probably did. I reckon I could probably did about three, four hundred stitches on that one, if I'm honest. And I worked on it for two days. Um, the this one here, the waltz one, I worked on it for two days, and I did four hundred and twenty-seven stitches. So you know what? That's that's all right. That's not bad um so yeah so the next one that i will show you is oh, the letter v so this was one of my new ones from last month i bought and i just thought it was absolutely stunning and i don't know if oh it's there right okay so that is the design absolutely beautiful and i'm actually doing it in a in a color not dissimilar to this what color are you doing that in hole oh bear with right so i've got my pink no that's blue i've got my pink and my blue because i'm doing h and v but h wasn't on this one um and i'll, I'll tell you why in a second probably actually what I should have done at the beginning oh I've had a bit of a month I'll tell you about that at the end of um end of this um the whip anyway so 322 is what that one's been done in so that's 322 two. so it's not exactly the same but I thought it was like a really beautiful sort of cornflower blue and I love that color I just think it's stunning did I start this last month? I think I started this last month. Yes, I think I started this last month. So um, this is where you saw it last month. And this is where I am at this month. So you know what? It's not completely hideous. I've done, you know, a decent amount of work. Um, coming along nicely. Got my lovely needle minder there, which is kind of a similar colour to the the blue which is quite cute it's a seahorse but yeah i'm loving doing that i i'm really enjoying it it's just stunning it's coming along really nicely so that is that one i feel like i've been on here for almost half an hour and all i've done is babbled babbled okay so that one is that one is that one um so i worked on that one for two days and i got 840 stitches 
um, which isn't too bad. I'm looking over here because this is where my um, planner is. It's just a lot easier for me to be able to look over here. Right, I need that for something I should have told you at the beginning. But anyway, the next one is Bountiful Bookshelf. Which is this one here. Ta-da! This is an Amy Stewart and it's charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, you know what, I'm not doing very well here today, am I? So this Amy Stewart one is 18 count, 2 over 1. The V I'm doing in 2 over 2 on 28 count. Yes, and it's an opalescent, opalescent, opalescence? Yeah, it's an opalescence. Um, generally, my non-full coverage, I do get a bit of sparkle because I think it looks really nice when it's on the wall. So, oh, this has got so much material with it because it's massive. Um, this is where you saw it last month. And, oh my God, it's huge. This is where I am at this month. So I'm starting to work downwards. Um, I'm just bringing everything down so I can finish this book, finish this book, and um, and then I can go on to the next book. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I know that this is one page, that's gonna be another, but I wanted to make sure that I'm using the same color threads um, in this part of this book as well, because I didn't want there to be too much of a color difference. Um, because this is such a big project, I am ordering my floss page by page. But I think what I'll be, oops, sorry, but I think what I'll be doing is I'll be ordering this book by book, if that makes sense. So um, I'll be looking at how much floss I need for each individual book. And that's how I will order it. Because again, this has been worked on the CXC thread and it's not overly expensive. <clears throat> I think each page costs like four pounds in thread, honestly. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do with that one. I absolutely love it. It's coming along, but it's just, um, it's just such a big, it's just such a big project, isn't it? And I just don't feel like I'm really getting in anywhere with it. So I thought I actually worked on this a lot more than I did this month, but I've only done 460 stitches on that and I worked on it for one day. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make that a focus piece. I say that every month, don't I? I am going to make this a focus point piece and I think I'm going to work on it um, probably three or four times this month because um, I just want to to try and get it, you know, so that I feel like I'm moving on. I don't feel like I'm moving on. I feel like I've been stuck on those on half of those two books for like, well, I start this in February. We're like this whole year. And I've, I've almost only done two pages. I mean, what's going on? So yeah, um, that is definitely one that I need to concentrate on because it's just going to take me 111 years to complete otherwise. Right, uh, my next one is ornament. Now, I think I've actually done quite a bit of this one. Yeah, so where Bountiful Bookshelf took, had one day, ornament had four. I've absolutely no clue. I think what I think what I've been doing is I've just been working on what I fancy to be working on. And for me, I'm very drawn with colour. So if something's really colourful, I want to work on it. Um, but I think I found with like Bountiful Bookshelf is that the colours are very browns and very monotone. And I just haven't, I just don't enjoy working with those colours. But anyway, so Ornament, a Stitch in Time, is this one here. This is um, artist Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Again, really beautiful and colourful, and yellow roses are my favourite flower. So, this is where you saw it last month. And this is where we are at. Hang on a second, let me just see if I can this is where we are at this month so it's um it's coming along again I'm, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing as I'm doing with the um the waltz 
Um, so I'm just kind of doing the top and then I'm just bringing everything down. I think that's probably what I'm going to start doing. So if I'm working, if I'm working in like a certain area here, I'll just start bringing down. And then if I find that my stitches go maybe into like sort of this area or this area and I'm not working in that area, I will just park my threads. So I'm still parking. Um, but I am, it does mean that I am just kind of sort of moving everything downwards and, um, yeah it, it's it's good because i do like parking and i do like i like stitching in my parked threads so i'm 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 the sort of person who who likes to be organized likes to be tidy and if i've got like a hot mess of loads of parked threads i like to then be able to sort of tidy that up by putting all my parked threads stitching them all in so that's actually something i enjoy because i'm just sad so that is um, something I've been working on that is 18 count two over one again my heaven and earth <coughs> projects are all stitched on two over one 18 count uh yeah I did four days on that one no I didn't I did three days on that one sorry I'm lying and I stitched 896 stitches so you know what going back to making a difference with my projects it probably made a difference with that project um okay twisted band sampler now oh, i love this one this is the one that i told you that i had run out of a color they were um Olvera soir um silk threads and i got them from london bee company i'm gonna sneeze i think oh no yeah no <laughs> i'm so sorry i thought i was gonna sneeze it came and then it went and then it came and then it went Right, okay, so this is from Northern Expressions Needlework and it's called um, Twisted Band Sampler. I think my, I've got a feeling that my camera is maybe slightly distorted because when I pick up my patterns, I kind of tend to do this so I know kind of whether it's straight or not. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, so this was also one that I said to you that I wanted to make sure that whenever I showed you um, from one month to another month I would actually have a band completed like a new band I wasn't just working on half a band um, but obviously because I have run out of, of one colour which was actually two of the bands that I was working on um, it was that was quite difficult to do and I didn't want to work on the next band because I wanted to make sure that I was doing it you know in sequence in case that there was a misstitched misstitch or you know you know I, I just didn't want to do carry on doing all the colors and then to find out that one of my stitches was in the wrong place because I hadn't actually done the band before it so yeah it's just I think that's like a, a, a thing for me psychologically that I just need to sort out so um, this has been done on 28 counts two over two and I think it's a, an opalescence again because it is not um a full coverage yeah not a full coverage and it's so bear with because oh, my magnets are stuck i've got another project in front of it and you know those magnets i told you about which i'll show you on here um they're stuck so this is where you saw it last month and this is where we are this month now you see what i mean about these and providing a lot of strength so this bit here is is pretty taut um and they're just they're just great they are they are really great they are just like the best thing that i've purchased i don't know if you can see my um, window i'm really sorry about that but let me see if i can get you in a bit closer there we go so i need to finish this bit down here as you can see and then obviously i need to finish this bit down here and then i'll go on to the next but yeah i'm absolutely i just i am loving 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 doing that project it's um oh, it fills me with joy i think it's just so beautiful and vibrant and it's got butterflies and flowers and um like sort of fleur-de-lis type things and it's everything 
everything that I love in a project. And I cannot wait, excuse me, I cannot wait to get that framed. So I worked on that for one day and I did 724 stitches, which isn't too bad. I think because I had actually done so much, but I also couldn't then do any more because I'd run out of the colour. I think 724 stitches is, is actually not anything to be ashamed of. I think that's quite a, quite a good going, to be fair. Um, right, so the next one I worked on was bookshelf. So this is one I think I started last month. And this is the one where I said to you that um, I'm collecting oops, all of the classic, the Penguin classic books. I've got a few downstairs as well. So like these types of books, they're absolutely beautiful. So this is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. And it's actually one that I'm reading at the moment. It's just beautiful. Uh, so when I found this project, I was just like, oh my God, I have to buy that. And I don't actually think, I don't think Great Expectations is in this one. But one that I haven't started yet. Mm. Where are you? I've got my other project here. Is it in there? Yes. So, this is another project that I will start at some point, but I haven't started it yet. This is called Pile of Books. And so, yeah, there you are. There's your Charles Dickens book there. So, I've got Tess of the Dobervilles. Um, I've got the Pride and Prejudice. Is that Sense and Sensibility? So, I've got Sense and Sensibility. Um, and then I've got, uh, I don't know if that is the same one that I've got, um, no, so I've got a yellow one, but I haven't got Pride and Prejudice, I think it's Sandition by Jane Austen, um, so yeah, I'm just collecting those as, as I, on a month, sort of a monthly basis, but anyway, so when I, when I saw that, I was just like, oh my god, I have to, I have to buy them. So the one I'm working on at the moment is this one here and it's beautiful, B-E-A beautiful, that's this one. I love books, I love everything about books. Okay. And this is being done on, again, 18 count, two over one, all of my, all of my projects are full cross. Um, and I did 970 stitches on that one and I worked on it for two days so it's just down here um, not really too sure the process of this just kind of going with it um, I haven't finished anything in particular started a lot <laughs> um, again I think I just I just wanted to work along I think and and see how how we went um yeah I, I just i get bored easily with one color so i didn't really want to finish this book because it's pretty much all one color again this one is the same um i'm just kind of jumping to try and get to the sort of the pinks because they're like more of the color that i resonate to i think and um i have something to tell you so last month i think it was last month i had suddenly had this panic of not realizing why the fabric was so big so when I opened it up last month I had a really big piece of fabric and I had basically just slightly lower of the middle I had this piece of work started and then I suddenly had this thought that, oh my gosh have I just counted up wrong have I am I starting this project in the wrong place like too low well no so I've still got probably this much at the bottom of this Q snap, but I think it actually ends up coming down to about here. So, are we good? Whew. Thank goodness. I was panicked. I didn't really want to restart it, if I'm honest. I mean, I would have done if I had to, but it's just one of those things, isn't it? That it's just, and I wouldn't have frogged it. I would have just gone. I'd just like, yeah, I would have just got rid of it and then I just started again because I just don't have the minerals to do that I just cannot stand frogging work it's one of my pet hates 
so yes unless it's a small amount of frog i'm just not interested <laughs> it's just oh so yeah i did two i had uh four days on that and i did 970 stitches so yeah obviously another one that i was resonating to i know last month i said to you that i was just gonna i wasn't going to you know be too like put too much plan into what i was going to stitch whatever i felt like i was going to stitch is what i stitched if that makes sense but i think i'm going to have to have that mindset except bountiful bookshelf because i've got 98 pages of that to do and i am almost finished the second page and that's just it's just not going to work doing that so i think i at least have to have two or three days three days realistically where i work on that project and if other projects get one or two days because they're a lot smaller then that's what i'm gonna have to do so yeah i think that's something that i need to take forward um so delightful walks i've shown you ah so story keep two um last month i told you that i really wanted to work on story keep but I wasn't enjoying working on Story Keep 1, which is the same project, but it's on 25 count 1 over 1. And then Story Keep 2 is um, 18 count 2, 2 over 1, full cross. But I wasn't actually going to start this until, I don't know, probably another few months. But it's it's one of those projects that I really, I really wanted to enjoy it because I, love, I loved what the project looked like. And... So I decided this month that I was going to take that and run with it. So Story Keep is this one here. It's a it's artist the artist is Amy Stewart and it is charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I'm going to show you yeah, so I'm going to show you what what I'm working on now anyway. I did work on that quite a lot because again I got really enabled with the colors because I'm just a I just get attracted to colours. Um, so I think that probably got a few more than one day. That got uh, three days and I did 611 stitches. And I also... What was I going to say? 611? Yeah, and I'm, I'm also doing that 18 count two over one. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of where we are. Sort out... There. I'm going to put something behind that because, hang on. Right, so instead of working on just like the four squares, like I said, I'm doing exactly the same with this. I'm kind of going across and coming down. And if I, if it's, if the thread is not in the area that I'm working, then I will park it in a, in a lower area. But I think this is, it's not extreme cross country. This is probably a little bit more cross country than usual. So there. That is what I'm, oh sorry, that is what I've done so far. I'll try and get you a bit closer. Um, beautiful colours, really loving it. Oh, sorry. You know what, it would help if I knew where my cam camera was. When I'm showing you like this, I don't know where my camera is. So I'm very aware that it's kind of in the vicinity. But yeah, my beautiful needle minder. Uh, I do love sea creatures. So this is a crab and again, it's sparkly because I love sparkle. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where I am at the moment, and I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm absolutely love working on it. Opposite, complete polar opposite to you know the one that's twenty five count one over one. However, I am still going to be working on that, and it will be going in the running. And when I say it will be going in the running, I will sh tell you what I mean in the in a second. And this is something I should have probably done at the beginning. Okay, um, oh, that looks good there. So that one's been done. Uh, the next one is Alternative Reality. I actually think I did okay on this this month. So this is a uh, project, uh, the artist is Josephine Wall. Beautiful project, absolutely love it. It's again uh, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I'm doing this on 18 count, two over one, because it is a full coverage piece. This is what it looked like last month. Oops. 
and again this is one of those pieces that I use those magnetic things here and that's really really helped so this is where we are this month oh hang on let me see if I can I think I don't even know if that's straight is that straight is that straight I think that's straight I'm not sure right so I have done quite a lot of stitching on this um starting to sort of fill in the blanks a little bit working downwards i am going to work across so i've started going to the oh, hang on let me see if i can is that right i've started going into the next page here um if i'm working on a color sorry what i'm tending to do is if i'm working on a i'll go to this page if i'm working on a color in that then i'll fill in the blanks in this one and it's it's starting to sort of you know come together really nicely and i'm really sorry i don't know if that's sort of straight or not i'm not doing very well with um with trying to sort of hold things up because i can't see what you can see which is really annoying but yeah so um that one that piece got nine two no three days and 908 stitches um Hello mate, what's up? My black cat has just walked in and he always says hello when he comes in, he's so vocal, he's gorgeous. Um, what's up? You want to say hello? Come in then. Come on, come in. Oh, come and say hello. Oh, here we are. Here he is. He's my black cat. So this is the one that isn't always ill. He is the one that I've had for, well, they're brothers, so I both, I got them at the same time. And um, you have never caused me any issues, have you? Mm? Where have you been? Where have you been? You smell funky. Mm? You say hello to everyone. He d he's not a hugger. He doesn't like to be hugged, do you? But he is a cuddler. So when you're in bed, he cuddles you like there's no tomorrow. Don't you? Mm? Well, I'll put you down. Um, but yeah, so my... If you followed me for a while, you uh, I've got fur in my face. Um, you'd know that my tabby cat has got an issue with um, his stomach and things like that, and you know gastrointestinal tract, and he gets stocked up quite a lot and has a lot of it, constipation. However, touch wood, not had to take him to a vet in a long time because I've sorted his diet out. His diet is now very wet, and he doesn't have any dry food at all, and it seems to be working um but yeah the black one socks sox sox um he is just one of those cats that is just quietly there um doesn't ever cause an issue when he goes to the vets he kind of rolls up into a ball because he's he's very sensitive very sensitive and he's um quite a scaredy cat but if he's in a cat fight he will hold his own and if any cat starts something, he will be sure to finish it. He's he's quite gutsy like that, but no, he's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I was thinking you've probably seen my tabby loads of times. He's not actually on my bed at the moment, but you've not seen my black cat. So I thought I'd introduce him. Sorry, I digress. Um, right, so alternative reality was 908 stitches and had three days. Yeah. And my last one is... Um, resistance is futile this is a brand new long dog sampler that's come out and i made the mistake um last month of putting a post up in the long dog sampler facebook group asking people if they'd done any of it can they please show me some progress because i just wanted some ideas and colors and things like that however i it doesn't matter because i went nuts when i thought about the color um of this now if you see the color of this bag it might give you a little bit of a indication of the color that i went for i love working this one it's amazing so this is um this is the project long dog samplers resistance is futile i think i started this one last month i'm not 100 percent sure if i did i will leave last month's here And this is where we are now. So I haven't done a huge amount, but you know what? It's not awful. 
Um, I clearly cannot work in the center. But what I decided to do is, um, so let me show you first. Okay, so this is where I'm, this is where I'm at. Hang on, let me just try and move my light round. I might be a bit better. Okay, is that better? Yeah, that's better. Okay, so this is where I'm at. So what I've decided to do for this one is, um, where you've got each band that run across here, so that's the first band, that's the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, so on and so forth. I am going to do it in in bands. So I'm going to work on this one, then I'm going to work on that one, and so on and so forth, and work down that way. So I I thought that it'd be a good idea to try and and also because where where it is my Q snap, I don't know if you can see. Like it seems to be my Q snap, um, like around sort of here, um, and then here. So actually, on my Q snap, it's oh, sorry, on my Q snap, it's pretty. Um, what do you call it in the middle but fabric wise it's not again i'm doing this on a 28 count two over two on opalescence I can see if I, yeah can you see the sparkle i don't know you just as i moved it you just got a bit of the sparkle there we are can you see and i'm i'm loving it i'm loving this color this color is uh, i believe 917 I've got all of my threads in here so this is like my bunch of threads um 917 yeah so stunning absolutely beautiful I really wanted something that I could put on my wall and I've just stuck that in my tea um that would really pop I think the fabric I bought from wool warehouse I tend to buy all of my I, put, I tend to buy all of the opalescence, um, 28, 38, 28, 32 count fabrics in Wool Warehouse because their turnaround is, is so quick. You know, I'll order it one day and within two days it's on my doorstep. They're brilliant. This month they actually sent me more because I ordered a certain size and they didn't have that. So they said, um, can they send me the next size up, which I think was ended up being a fat quarter. And then like, we won't charge you anymore. It will just be, you know, what you paid for it. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm never not saying no to fabric. 100%. So, so that was, that was a bargain. That was a bargain. Oops, sorry. Um, yes. Right, that is everything I worked on this month. Now, I do want to show you this quickly because last, I've done it already this month actually, so I don't need to do it again, but it's something I might introduce, um, or I might bring you guys into. But um, in order for me to be able to get that difference and the, vari the, the um, variation in the projects I'm working on, I decided to download this app called Spin. Now this is an app that you can put in all of your projects. Let me just bring it up now. And there we are. So spin the wheel. So this is all of my projects that I've got. Now if you, I don't know if I can spin, spin. It will spin it and then it will choose a project. So this one, it's like, um, story keep two so what i'll then do is i'll press story keep two and it won't include that next time it does the spin and chooses another one so what i've done is i've decided to pick uh one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i've decided to pick 10 projects that i'm going to work on in the month and they are going to be completely picked at random by this and I did that for last month, so the ones that you've just seen, and I've done that for this month. Hang on, let me just see if I can move this, because I've written it down. I don't want everything to go all over the place. So going forward for this month, I am going to be working on the letter H, which is similar to the letter V, but it was the pink. I worked on that a month before last, so I think you would have seen that. Alternative reality, the letter V, grey spaces, which you didn't see last month because it wasn't picked at random this month, winter, 
Bountiful bookshelf, I think I'm always going to keep that in anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out of the equation and I'm going to make sure that that is one that I work on every single month because it is such a big project. Um, Delightful Waltz bookshelf, Twisted Band Sampler and Story Keep 1. So out of those from last month, I won't be working on or the ornament, you know, the stitch and time ornament. I won't be working on um, Story Keep 2. I'll be working on 1. Um, I'm not overly happy about that, but you know what? There's no point in changing it because otherwise what's the point in doing this? And if I kept changing it to Story Keep 2, then Story Keep, you know, the first one wouldn't get done. And I did say that I want to do... A, like a comparison between the two or 25 count one over one and 18 count two over two so people can see uh, the size difference um, and they can see like you know what they look like as well a lot of people think that if you go to a lower count then the sharpness isn't there well it still is because the number of stitches isn't changing it's just that you if it, it will probably look a little bit more pixelated if you look up close but if you've got it on a wall and you know you're looking at it at a normal distance in fact it won't look any different except for one project looks a bit bigger than the other so that's pretty much going to be the only difference um yeah so resistance isn't in there um ornament isn't in there sansusi that's not come up twice now so sansusi is my other long dog sampler and twice that's not come up it didn't come up last month or this month um Mm, to let it be alternative Sansu both pieces. I think that's it. Yeah, so Sansu might come up la might come up next month, but Grace Faces didn't come up last month, but it's coming up this month as well. So I guess it had to be one or the other. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing some real real good pro pro blah, real good progress on Grace Faces. I'm I'm about two thirds of the way through that, so I'm on the home run. I'm hoping it'll only take a few months and you know we'll be done with that one um oh, what to say I think that is the that is all for the cross stitch part of this channel um I was going to mention something I don't know whether to mention it or not but uh seeing as you're here and I kind of did this sort of last month where we got flooded out uh, you might notice that I'm not wearing an engagement ring and me and my fiance have broken up. So don't feel sorry for me. It was my decision, not his. Um, sometimes when the spark goes, the spark goes and you can't get it back. Um, you know, he's still living here. He's just in the spare room. It's amicable, it's fine. We are still civil to each other. There's no malice against each other. I just didn't feel like I could uproot his whole entire life and move him to America if I was feeling like this. And I didn't really deep down feel like I wanted to progress my life with him and feel like I wanted to have a family with him now. I don't know if that was a stupid decision because I'm 38 years old now and I haven't got children and I do want children and so I'm running out of time rapidly. Um, however, you know what, having children with the wrong person is not the reason to have them, is it, really? So, yeah, I decided, I decided that it was time. I just wasn't feeling it and, you know, the picture on the... Sorry, the picture on the mantle, mantle piece is gone, like his picture. Um, well, it was a picture of us. Um, I haven't done anything with the pictures. I've just put, I've just taken it off the mantle piece because I don't want to have a daily reminder. Um, but you know what? I feel okay. I had a bit of a cry when we had the talk. I felt like a massive weight have come up, has come off my shoulders. I can't really explain it. There's nothing wrong with him. You know what was the hardest thing? is the fact he's such a nice guy that he just was like yeah okay fine um if that's how you feel maybe we should go on a break instead of like a break up see how you feel so that's kind of where we are but i'm kind of not feeling it 
um, had three or four nights on my own in my bed and not missed him. And that says everything really, doesn't it? You know, break the breakup would have been a lot easier. I say a lot easier. I don't know if it necessarily will. And I don't want to disrespect to, the, I don't want to disrespect people that have been in violent relationships, but you know, if he was a bit of an arrogant git, um, horrible person, it would have been easier to break up with him. But it was hard because he's a nice person and I didn't want to hurt his feelings, but I just didn't feel like I could, you know, do the, like carry on. I felt like I was living a lie and it wasn't fair on him. And, you know, he was still talking about the States and this, that and the other. And in my head, I was like, oh God, like I cannot, I can't keep pursuing this. It's just not fair on you. So I don't know where that came from. I don't know. I mean, I think I've, I feel like I've been feeling this for a while, but I feel so happy and I don't mean that horribly. I just feel like a massive weight has been lifted and that it was the right thing to do. I don't live with regret. I see him without my stomach flipping, you know, when I drive back from work, his car's there. You know, sometimes when you go up, you know, sometimes when you go through a breakup and, you know, say for example, they were the one that broke up with you i've had it in the past where i've seen their car and then my stomach has done somersaults and um and or i've heard them on the phone or i've seen them at work and again like my stomach has done somersaults i don't get any of that i just get this calmness so yeah nothing wrong with him um we're just two different people on two different levels wanting two different things you know he's happy to live in I mean, we live in a house share and he's happy to like live in a house share and like for the rest of his life and that's great he doesn't want a mortgage but i want more the f i want more for my life i i i want to have a mortgage um i mean i've got a mortgage on my land in the states but i want to live in a house i don't want to live with other people you know i'm 38 years old now and apart from land in the states i don't really have any any assets other than like my horse and I haven't got a particularly decent car, but then I've always got cheap cars that have been runarounds, you know, and it would be nice to one day have something a bit more special, you know. So, yeah, that's where I am. And uh, like I said, I don't want anyone feeling sorry for me or, you know, I feel fine. I'm fine. And I definitely feel like it was the right decision. Now, if I come back on next month and I'm blurring my eyes out going, oh, it was like the wrong thing to do and now he won't take me back and um, then, yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen. So on that happy note, um, I am done for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please press the, the subscribe button. That will really help me out. I love seeing subscribers because it just fills me with joy it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something in this community that means something to people and it just means that you know if you if you forget about me in the process of like watching floss tube you know my videos will pop up and I, I do that a lot I most of the people that I watch on um floss tube I've subscribed to because there'll be times where you know I'm flicking through floss tube and they would have uploaded videos but I wouldn't have necessarily seen them but if I've got you know notification that they've uploaded videos it, it kind of it gives me a notification that they're there and and it reminds me that, oh yeah, I need to check in with them because I haven't seen them for a while. But yeah, so please do that. I would really appreciate it. And um, thank you very much for joining me uh, in, this, um, in this video. And I will see you again soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.